Madam, I implore you to be sensible. Oh, I am being sensible. I swore I would kill them, each and every one of them. From the way I see it, I will do. I'm afraid my mind's made up. But Mrs. LeClerc, Teddy Brown, he's just a second-rate common no-good horse thief. You kill him and the rest of his boys, well, you wind up in jail. Or worse. And we will never find out who killed your husband. You know it, and I know it. I believe Teddy Brown killed my husband. If he did so, he did it on behalf of his sister, her husband, or Jeremiah Shaw. Perhaps, Besides, but... he's holed up in there, besieged by marshals. Marshals? What good did a marshal ever do anyone? That's why we'll send in our professionals to get the job done, and no one will know you had anything to do with it. It's too early to show your hand, madam. Okay. You, come with me. And remember, these are the people that put you in jail. So don't overly concern yourself with pity. Madam, stay here. Please. Come on, we gotta go. Now I know you're willing to do good and bad as it suits you. And maybe that's everyone's right. And maybe it's the right way to be. You seem to live by your own rules. In some ways, I admire that. Although maybe at times you seem a touch confused? Confusing? I don't know. But I hope, either way, good, bad, or plain indifferent, after all she has done for you, that you will be loyal to my mistress. Kill Teddy Brown, not out of vengeance or righteousness, but out of duty to her, compassion for her. Thinks he got away with taking my master and taking your freedom. Show him he has it. It's what you owe. Brown's shown himself to be a desperado more than his other three conspirators. Wears a gun on his hip like the one that shot my master. Dangerous. He's made himself very hard to kill. You get close enough, you'll see. I've tried to make the fight somewhat even. And just wait till we get there, okay? The marshal and his men were in hot water when I left them. Pushed off their guns and almost out of the fight. Let's hope things have improved a touch. There's the ford. We'll find the marshal. Up here. Come on. They were on the other side of this. Cross the road, fellas. Are you getting on, Marshal? No. That bastard is holed up tight as he can be. I've already had two men shot since last we spoke. That's too bad. Luckily, I brought in the cavalry, so to speak. You have, huh? Yes. My associates. And what's more? I think I found a way of ensuring they don't get themselves shot. Like your deputies. Put those on. Teddy Brown is a bad man. One of the worst. But there's folk in Blackwater, powerful folk, who asked my boss to get me to leave him alone. I can imagine. Amos Lansing and Jeremiah Shaw, perhaps? Well, I don't know. Maybe. My lord, look at you. I read about this. Australian, I believe. Always wanted to see if it works. My friends, let me take you up. Come on. Bring us Teddy Brown. Dead or alive. The ah! gonna slow you. Teddy Brown's gonna pay for this.
God damn you! God damn you! No! God damn you, Teddy Brown! Hello, Mrs. Leclerc. <sighs> Who killed my husband? Who killed my husband? Your husband? That little milksot? <laughs> I guess I imagine he was your brother. No woman would ever marry his kind. <laughs> I did kill him. I did it. And he was begging for his life. <laughs> Pathetic, really. Who put you up to it? <laughs> Who? Lady, that's none of your damn business. Then I guess we'll kill the lot of them. That's one down, three to go. Mr. Horley, pay our friends for their service. Thank you. We shall be in touch.